Happening today, representatives of a shelter housing migrant children separated from their parents at the border go before the City Council Finance Committee. They're answering some tough questions about alleged abuse. CBS 2's Lauren Victory joining us now live from City Hall with more. Lauren. Hi there, Suzanne and Marissa. This is happening right now. I ran outside to give you this update. So Heartland Alliance representatives say they welcome the invitation to talk about these very serious allegations against them, and they promised Alderman they would get to the bottom of what happened. A recently published Washington Post story describes kids being shouted at, dragged, and threatened by the staff at Gu Casa Guadalupe in Chicago. Young prisoners told reporters they felt, uh, young boys told reporters they felt like prisoners. One said he saw a five-year-old repeatedly injected with something that made him fall asleep. Senator Dick Durbin has called for a federal investigation into those stories, and the Heartland Alliance reps at City Hall today say they support that investigation. They then explained what immigrant children normally experience at their facilities. That's in addition to medical evaluations and meetings with family reunification specialists. Children in our shelters receive six hours of education a day, participate in cultural exchange activities, science fairs, go on field trips. Children in our program also have time and space to play, play games, go outside and play sports, go to the movies, beach, and the zoo. Now, beyond that official testimony, Alderman had asked Hartnell Alliance reps to their meeting to talk about what they want to propose an ordinance to require child welfare facilities in the city to be licensed. I'm Lauren Victor reporting live outside City Hall, CBS 2 News. Marissa and Suzanne. Thank you so much, Lauren.